Russia's Akotnik Unmanned Combat Air Vehicle UCAV, has reportedly been flight tested with air-to-air -air missiles for the first time. As reported by Russia's state-run military outlet RAI Novosti, recent series of weapons trials saw the unmanned aircraft used in a fighter interceptor role. The outlet said that the tests had taken place over the Ashulik training range in southwestern Russia. Though the details are sketchy and limited, this, if true, is a significant development. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia's Akotnik armed attack drone could change an aerial battle. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. On March 9, 2018, the U.S. Air Force officially retired Predator, a platform that initiated a new era of unmanned air combat. Predator was best known for their ability to deliver precision strikes as their controllers sat halfway around the world in small and discreet bunkers. MQ-1 Predator will be replaced by the second generation of combat drone, MQ-9 Reaper, which is much more capable. Reaper has an endurance of 27 hours, a service ceiling of 50,000 feet, a range of 1,151 miles or 1,852 kilometers and a max speed of 300 miles per hour or 482 kilometers per hour. The Reaper's hard points give it the ability to deploy a combination of AGM-114 Hellfire, GBU-12 Paveway and GBU-38 JDAM munitions. Israel also has several drones in its arsenal, like Heron, which can operate up to 52 hours and reach altitudes of 35,000 feet. China has also spent a huge amount of resources in developing an attack drone. China has unveiled a drone named Dark Sword that could fly at supersonic speeds. Russia, till now, didn't have an attack drone. Earlier, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin had told Russian news outlet Sputnik that Russia had swiftly reduced and is expected to completely eliminate its lag behind the United States and Israel in the creation of UAVs. Concerning the UAVs, I should only say that there is no point of speaking about some lagging behind. It's been rapidly reduced and will be completely eliminated soon," Rogozin said in an interview. He had specified that he was speaking about both combat and reconnaissance drones. The image of the Russian strike drone emerged on the Internet in 2018. The Akhodnik, meaning Hunter, is a Russian stealth, heavy, unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV, being developed by Sukhoi and Russian Aircraft Corporation MIG as a sixth-generation aircraft project. The drone is based on the earlier McCoyan Scott, designed by MIG and encompassing some technologies of the fifth-generation Sukhoi Su-57 fighter jet. It's expected to enter service with the Russian Armed Forces by 2025. In late May 2019, Akotnik performed a series of flight tests during which the drone flew several meters above a runway of the NAPO plant. On the 3rd of August 2019, Akotnik performed its maiden flight. The drone flew for about 20 minutes at an altitude of 600 meters above Chikalov State Flight Test Center in Aktubinsk and made several circles around the airfield. 
On August 7th, the Russian Defense Ministry released a video of the first flight. On the 27th of September 2019, Russian MOD released a video showcasing the first flight of a Kotnik alongside Su-57. Reportedly, the UAV operated autonomously and flew for more than 30 minutes, interacting with the Su-57 to test extending the fighter's radar and target designation range for use of long-range, air-launched weapons from the outside of enemy air defenses. The Akotnik's design is based on the flying wing scheme and incorporates the use of composite materials and stealth coatings, making the drone low observable in flight. It has a weight of about 20 tons and a wingspan around 65 feet or 20 meters. The drone is powered either by a single AL-31F turbofan, as used on the Sukhoi Su-27 fighter aircraft, or by the improved AL-41F derivative installed on Su-35S fighters and Su-57 prototypes. Although the first prototype's exhaust nozzle was conventional and could increase the drone's radar signature, a future upgrade could see improved exhaust as well as engine inlet as shown by a mock-up at the 2019 MAX International Aviation and Space Salon. The maximum speed of the drone is reportedly 1,000 km per hour or 621 miles per hour while carrying its payload internally. It's likely the Akotnik was designed to act as a loyal wingman controlled by the Su-57. According to unconfirmed reports, the range of the drone will stand at about 6,000 km or 3,750 miles. The drone is expected to carry diverse weapons payload like free-fall gravity bombs, air-to-surface missiles, and air-to-air -air missiles. A source within Russia's military-industrial complex told RIA Novosti, from the airstrip of the military airfield of the Russian Aerospace Forces Combat Training and Combat Application Center at the Ashulik Training Range, the Akotnik performed several flights with functional simulators of guided air-to-air -air missiles. In the combat version of the drone, such missiles are designed to destroy other aircraft. As per reports, Akotnik was said to have been armed with simulated air-to-air -air missiles AAMs, inert weapons with both infrared and radar homing seeker heads, but without engines and warheads. Russia has multiple AAMs with which they can arm the platform. The R-27 missile is a medium to long-range air-to-air missile developed by the Soviet Union. The R-27 is manufactured in infrared homing R-27T, having a range of 40 kilometers or 25 miles. Semi-active radar homing R-27R, having a range of 80 kilometers or 50 miles and active radar homing R27EA having a range of 130 kilometers or 80 miles. The R73 is a short-range air-to-air missile developed by Vimpel NPO that entered service in 1984. The R73 is an infrared homing missile with sensitive cryogenic cooled seeker with a substantial off-boresight capability. The seeker can actually see targets up to 40 degrees off the missile centerline. The minimum engagement range is about 300 meters with a maximum aerodynamic range of nearly 30 kilometers or 19 miles at altitude. The R-77-1 missile is the upgraded variant of the R-77 missile. It adds an active radar seeker head and newly designed fins for better aerodynamics. The R-77-1 has fire and forget capability with a range of 110 kilometers or 68 miles. The missile is very resistant to countermeasures, making it hard to fend off. The drill is intended to closely replicate combat conditions, which include enemy aircraft, air defense, and electronic warfare elements. The pairing of a Kotnik with Sukhoi Su-57 
will mean that Russia will have a powerful duo in the skies in the coming days. The two platforms are expected to coordinate with one another with deep integration, and this is likely to result in force multiplication. With this kind of technology, the Russian military planners will be in a much better position to carry out both defensive and offensive missions. For example, in a heavily defended airspace, a Kotnik can be assigned the risky task of taking out the air defense before Su-57 launches its own offense. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.